Extend your TRX straps so they are a couple of inches, about five or six inches off the floor, or make sure the handlebar is kind of mid shin when you set up. You're going to place the backs of your heels into the straps, then lay yourself down and place your arms out to the side to support you. From here, you're going to do 10 reps of the straight leg hip raise. So from here, making sure that you're keeping your rib cage down. We don't want to lift the hips and flare the ribs. Squeeze the hamstrings and squeeze the glutes to extend. Then you're going to bend your knees and come into a TRX glute bridge. So from here, again, making sure that you're extending your hips all the way to the top, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings and keeping those ribs down. You're going to do 10 of these. From here, you're going to go straight into TRX hamstring curls. So by this point, your hamstrings and glutes are going to feel pretty uh, fatigued. Dig your heels down, draw your knees up and keep your hips up throughout this exercise. As your hamstrings get tired, it can be very common for your uh, hips to lower and drop down to the floor as mine were just about to then. Now, Whilst I have prescribed 10 reps for each of exercise, you might find that that is just too much for you. So please reduce the reps. You could do six reps of each, eight reps of each, 10 reps of each, or if you're really hardcore, 12, 15 reps of each. It's really important that you get your form right here um, and making sure that we're not doing sloppy reps. So if ever you want me to check your technique, please always feel free to send your video over.